Why does the term dysplastic nevus persist? Well, one of the reasons that it's a stepwise model of tumor progression is plausible and appealing. So we have a cell mutation, hyperplasia, changing grades of dysplasia, cancer in situ, malignant. We like this sort of progression, right? And this does happen. It happens in clones of cells, but it doesn't happen in any particular type of nevus. There's no particular type of nevus that you're going to identify with this process. But we like progression models. And it can conveniently uncover the uncertainty of a pathologist. Now, the pathologist looks at a lesion under the microscope and it has, it's well circumscribed, and it's, it's symmetrical, but some of the cells are a bit, un, uh, you know, what, not what he expects to see. And so to cover his uncertainty or her uncertainty, they can give it a greater dysplasia, mild, moderate, severe, and at least they haven't said it's completely normal. And this is convenient. It can be very convenient. And it can sanctify an unnecessary excision by a clinician. You cut something out. It comes back as a moderate dysplastic nevus. You can say to the patient, well, you've got a scar, but it was moderately dysplastic. It was not completely normal. We didn't do it for nothing. And that can be very convenient. And it can justify the procedure to the patient. Well, I've got a scar, but doctor, they got it just in time. And that makes the patient feel a lot better. But this is not a helpful way of doing things. And I would challenge you to create change. And, and many people are doing this now. And, and one way of circumventing this problem of the dysplastic nevus syndrome, where you're told that it's a nevus, but you've got to cut it out with wide margins, is whenever you get a report of dysplastic nevus, Ask for one of the following mutually exclusive conclusions to that report. Nevus, melanoma, melanoma associated with the nevus, or I don't know. Now, that's quite reasonable. And what will happen is the big basket of dysplastic nevus, which now might be 60 or 70 percent of your melanocytic lesion reports will shrink to a very small basket of I don't know because the pathologist is not going to say I don't know for the majority of lesions reported and this can change the way pathologists think and it can change the way these lesions are reported because the diagnosis of dysplastic nevus Having no prognostic significance is of no benefit to the patient or to the doctor. Thank you.